planning. So how would you describe Libby, what we've just done in our session? Yeah, um, hmm. what I would describe is this mix of health consultation, starting with the evaluation you gave me prior, which really was a self-assessment that I've never even done on my digestion and sleep and um, chronic and current issues all the way to this like deeper mental, emotional deep dive into who I am as a person and my own needs and desires. Mm -hmm. And then setting up a level of vision, I would say around what an upcoming three month journey together is gonna look like for working on my health. So a really holistic, inter what I say we just did is like this holistic introduction to <clears throat> transformative health because it's not, it's not just, this wasn't just a doctor's appointment, although it did actually feel like we're taking literal assessments. It's also this exploration of my patterns, my emotions, my um, things that I've observed. And then for me with you, I also got to experience like a, a level of spirituality and space to explore the depths of what these issues uh, of some of the roots of some of the issues here so I felt very whole and connected and so in terms of like implementing all this now into your life this new knowledge how excited are you and ready are you to do that hmm. yeah there's a level of nervousness I do want to acknowledge because we know we're encountering <laughs> <laughs> transformative journey it's like oh like I can feel that um oh it's big things will shift if I am really choosing this but then there is for me this is personal to me but there's a real softer energy actually and that's just my natural state when I'm starting things is like hyper let's go for it but I even had the space since we're addressing our tendencies here I had the space to just talk about that and while that hyper more young like I can do all the assignments and be a good student energy serves me at times it's the, actually the same energy that sometimes makes me feel like I drop off because I can do the things but my my more underlying space is not at ease and from the things we just worked on, I'm actually feeling excited from this place of more like easefulness and curiosity and gentleness of like, whoa, what is this going to look like? Like, I actually don't know because it's not just going to be me giving myself commands alone. We're going to really be learning about myself. <laughs> yeah, it, it will definitely be more purposeful way of you know, going through self-care and habits that are going to help you to essentially heal your body. Yeah. yeah. And just to speak to the excitement in there, because I just talked about my own nervousness, but like it is, it's hard. Like whenever you know you're about to change something, I think it's like, ah, wait, wait, not ready yet. But the excitement and like why this matters to me so much is I'm, A, healthfulness has always mattered for me, but B, in my health journeys, there has been ups and downs. I actually am someone who, because I love health, I think it even creates even more crashes for me because I'm like, oh, there's a new trend. Let's go for it. Oh, there's a new, oh, I want to try fasting. Oh, I want to try this. Um, meanwhile, life happens. Deaths, grief um, for me, starting new jobs, starting new businesses. And I find my relationship with health spiking like up and down. We try this, we have no time, we try, we don't. Mm -hmm. And so now after seven years of learning a lot, but also not really finding the things that stick for me, it's actually created a level of hopelessness at times where it's just like, oh no, all these things that are supposed to help aren't working. It's not that they're not working. I just haven't navigated what works for me. And what feels very uplifting 
from talking to you is that I can actually find the things that will work for me, mm-hmm. not what is just like some type of golden ticket to, to better health, but like really a deeper dive into how I am as a person, what my lifestyle looks like and how I can really support myself given those unique qualities about myself and my life. Yeah. And what I also love about what you just said is like, you know, that up and down roller coaster ride um, that often when you do it yourself kind of happens. Whereas when you've got support and accountability, there's less of those peaks, you know, and it might be just more of a gentle role of, um, you know, like going in and out of habits rather than, you know, completely falling off of something. You're going to have the support there to to keep on track with, you know, staying focused on your goals and befriending yourself and caring for your body and nurturing it in the same way that you intended to. Mm, Thank you. I'm excited that you're coming into the summer club. (laughs) Me too. And I'm excited to have connection as well because it is, can be so hard when you're like, for me, I've always tried to approach like I have gotten introduced to Ayurveda before and I've explored different things, but I'm always doing it alone. I haven't had a lot of people around me uh, aside from maybe I have like a friend or a partner who is interested in something at one time. I typically am a leader around me in some level of health thing. (laughs) And so that can lead, that also adds pressure in my life on top of that. And so to actually have more of a set community to learn with and grow together. And I know that I have this length of time to mess up too, but to share the learnings and, and be encouraged on the road. That's one of the things I'm most looking forward to. Absolutely. Yeah. Welcome Libby. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so who else is going to be here? Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We're leaving on Sunday. Get on board. 